That's right, it's me, Scripta. How you doing, folks? We're back with another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, and we're gonna conquer the world today. Probably, maybe. Well, we're working on it, <laughs> as usual. So, let's see where we are and what we are going to do. It's been about a week since I recorded the last episode, so I did a batch recording there. And it's about time to do the next batch, and maybe we're gonna wrap it up in this batch. So I think this is gonna be, I don't know, maybe 10 more episodes? Depends on how much we can get done and on how much the game slows us down. We're on the 13th of March 1945, which is uh, two months away, well, seven weeks away from the German capitulation. Nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> Look at this stack, this is annoying, this is really annoying, that's just down here. Ah, it's a crap ton of troops. It's just, you know, the way combat with works, it doesn't really matter if you have 91 reserves. There's only 80 combat with. These troops are dug in. They have good supply. It's nothing the British Empire or the Allies or whoever is left of them can do to get through here. So I think to end this issue... We can just conquer Great Britain. I mean, they have most of their troops here, right? That's 23 divisions, straight from Britain. 41 from New Zealand. All right, yeah. Hmm. So, what is it we are going to do next? We have one war left, which is the war against the Allies, and we only need to defeat the UK. Come on, give me a tooltip. See, 0% towards capitulation because we're not on the... Uh, UK mainland yet, which we're gonna change. We have our UK invasion force set up here. They are currently preparing up here and are out of supply because uh, the garrison area was just this little bit. I've extended that a little, as you can see here. So that area should be sufficient for all the supplies we need. Then we have troops going to South America, which are currently redeploying. Hello? There, arrows from Switzerland and Hungary going down here to Africa and I think I've told them to go to that port. I'm pretty sure I've told them to go to that port or yeah to that port. Don't tell me you're gonna take a freighter to ship through here because that's not gonna work. We don't have that straight yet. That's gonna change. Um yeah so let's see you are going to South America, you don't know that yet. You come down here, as do you. Do we have better ports to get over there? Well, we can go down here. Every capacity 30. 10. Oh, that's not ours. That makes sense. 30. Yo, yeah, we could go down here and just ship straight over to Brazil. If we go to war with them. Now, how are we going to do that? We sent them straight to Panama, which is, after all, free American Empire territory. Or is that actually United States? Oh, this is what left. what is left of the United States. We didn't get that. Hmm... So we can't ship them there. Now, how much of a war do we want to have? Do we want to go through Mexico and all of that? Or do we want, just want to go down here? Because we want the supplies that you can get here. The oil. Primarily down uh, up here in Venezuela. That would be nice to have, some tungsten. And the rest I don't care about. Rubber? We have more than enough rubber. Yeah, we go over here. We get all of that. That would be nice. Delivery penalty. Alright. Why would it show me a delivery penalty if that's not mine? That's weird. So we need Venezuela. Uh, we need uh, these territories because they are enemies, so we're gonna get those. Anything else? Nope. Can I get Texas, please? That would be nice. <laughs> we could ask for control of state. Don't think we're gonna get that. Uh, let's see. That one. <laughs> you never know. So, let's ask. 
I don't think that will happen. Anyway, other than that, we don't have any national foci left. Papa Turkey, well, once the war is over, we own Turkey. Can't do anything here, can't do anything here. These are all exclusive things, as you can see by the arrow. So... That doesn't work because we've defeated the Russians. Papa Turkey is the only thing left, which we don't care about. We already own Turkey, where well, we occupy it, let's put it this way. We have gentlest occupation uh, policy everywhere. That works quite well. It's a little bit of resistance. One down here. And of course Hungary and Switzerland, which we just occupied now. I had to set that up. And the rest, now that looks fine. I can live with that. How are we looking? 501 military factories. What are we going to do with all those factories? <laughs> this is gorgeous. Uh, dockyards in full swing producing all the stuff. We're working on the next class of destroyer. We're finally working on the next class of the mechanized Sonderkraftfahrzeug. Mm -hmm. Germans, right? SDKFZ, as it says there in the tooltip, is the short form for Sonderkraftfahrzeug, which is a special motorized vehicle, or just mechanized. We're getting the jet engines done, I think that might be a little late. Thing is, if we go over here and defeat them, I think we've pretty much won. I do want to get over here first. At least Venezuela. So, how are we gonna best do that? This is all United States, that's all that's left of them. Where's your capital? Hawaii, right? <laughs> yeah. They are still in the war, technically. Somewhere. As a minor faction, because they don't own much anymore. Completely defeated. Philippines are still in there. Chile is still in there. Really? That's interesting. Where are you? Right there, right? Yeah, the, the one on the west coast. So we already have these guys in the war. That makes it interesting. We could go straight there, do a naval invasion and stuff. It's just on the most irritating side of the continent, I'd say. Uh, this is just one sea zone. We have a fleet working here, so we cover this area. That we can stage an invasion going over here. We do not have any more marines. Do we want to build up some marines? Are we building up some marines? No, we're not building up some marines. We're building up one more uh, panther di uh, division. That a, yeah, that's the division, right? That's an army, that's a division. Yeah, it's a division designer. So that's a division, yeah, right. Uh, which is going to reinforce what? These. Perfect. I like that. Can I? No, I cannot assign you straight to those guys because they don't have any front lines or garrison orders currently. So, nah, okay. I'm gonna have to do that manually later. Planes in reserve. 600 Kanonenvogel. 2,600 Focke-Wolf 190A. We have fighters. We have a lot of fighters. Yeah, I... No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I think we don't have any more stationed anywhere, right? No, we don't. So we need air superiority over here. Currently don't have any pop-up for any issues. Can I please get this? There's nobody coming. There they are. It's a little bit here. It's a little bit here. Most here. And of course here. Look at the amount of fighters. That's 5,000. 6,000. 500. So around 7,000. Versus 2.5. We're not going to get air superiority unless we get the better ones. There. Now we're working on this. 24 days left. And then we need this. It's 140 days. We have 1945. We can do that. We can also run down here. This will take a while. Um, that's the so-called America Bomber. So this was supposed to be the one operational range 7K that flies uh, straight from Germany to uh, the American East Coast. And bombs the crap out of New York and delivers the atomic bomb once completed. 
Well, let's just have a quick look. What's the best air zone here? What's the best port airport? You want by distance? Is there anything? Brittany would be the closest one. 8,000 kilometers. So that's not even enough. Well, not everything is historically accurate. And I think that's actually the wrong bomber for that. There was another one, a jet bomber, that was way bigger than the Super Fortress. And that was supposed to deliver a crap ton of bombs all along the west coast here. Now, we don't have to do that. These are our friends, which is quite nice. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our troops. And go over here and go through here. All of that. Because why wouldn't you? It gives us more war score. Uh, since we are... Does it show that here? Yeah, war participation is 83%, so the more wars we fight, the higher our participation will be, as long as the others don't join in and, you know, steal all our goodies. Uh, which means that in the end we get more points, which means we can pick more stuff, which is cool. Yeah, we can go through all of this. Might have some supply issues here. Or we can just, you know, stage a naval invasion over here. They shouldn't have much in the way of troops over there. And then just straight go into Venezuela. And I think that's what we're going to do. I do not really want to fight Brazil at this moment. Let's have a look. That's not too bad. They have about 50. They have about 50, I'd say. Not much in the way of factories. That's pretty much nothing. We can deal with that. And we said we needed what... No, that's the wrong one. F7. That one. Well, we're at war with these guys. Uh, there's nothing here, so... Hmm. Bolivia. You? Are you actually allied with us? No, you're democratic. Interesting. Uh, the last single play I had, which I didn't record, these instantly joined the Axis. Hmm. Yeah, definitely that. And all of this. Alright, so let's let's plan that. We're gonna take these guys or we're gonna take these we're gonna take these guys. Once you're here, you're gonna stage a naval invasion. That might be a bit much, but eh You know, from here to France. Why not? These guys shouldn't have any defense. There's nothing left of France. These are still a major contributor to the war. So we own these sea zones, there should be no problem. I'm gonna wait until those guys arrive down here. I hope they have enough supplies. I'm working on supplies. As you can probably see... Yeah, these are the zones I'm currently working on, so that's all of Africa, to just get supply in here so we can have these massings of troop there. Once these are over there and have a bridgehead, once this port is ours, we're just gonna ship over the tanks and then we're just gonna roll through here. Create a border over here, send the troops in. Well, you might just march down here, around Brazil, or maybe even through Brazil. The thing is, this is all jungle, right? Yeah. Division attrition, plus 30%. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Don't want that, especially not with tanks. You stop moving, really. That takes ages. I tried that. Uh, I, I played Canada, invaded the... Well, US, before the uh, war tension got 200%, so they had no chance to join the Allies. That was all my territory. I went through Mexico all the way down here. And when I arrived at Brazil, this just slowed down to a halt. All of this I got done by February 40. And when I finally arrived down here, it was 43. So, yeah. I'm going to see and, and see that we can... Take that experience into account here. So that I don't care about, that I don't care about, that I don't care about. It's just this. Well, then let's get going. Also, we're going to have to plan this invasion over here. And we have, oh, we have Asia. Not to forget Asia. This is our big garrison. Want to go to Australia soon. These guys are mopping up that, which is great. Uh, just, you know, let me know when you're done with that. And then we move from there. Also, you take that. Well, no, you can actually just take that. You can take that, since you're a garrison unit. 
Yeah, we want to go over here, we want to have all of this. Do we micromanage this? I don't know. It's a lot of invasions we have to do here, a lot of island hopping. We might just go straight to Australia, and even then it's, it's really just the coast over here that's important. We have Canberra, Melbourne, Sydney. So if you get these, you're pretty much set to go. Uh, as a victory point here, that might work. And you don't really need the rest, or it's, it's just an invasion here, and, and yeah, as a victory point. And we can invade here, and one here, so that's three marine landings, which like take one troop each. And then we have one big landing, like there. This should be defended, this shouldn't be, and then we just go up there and down here, and we have it. That might be a thing. Maybe not. Maybe we just get this. They are participants in the war, so as soon as we've won over the UK, we can distribute that country. There's a battle going on here between the Russians and whatever the rest of the Swedish people, which are based out of Gotland. You shouldn't have much in the way of anything now. You? Well, you do have a navy. <laughs> That's the whole navy is here. If we get that port, you don't have a navy anymore. Not gonna try. Are you trying to invade there? Well, knock yourself out. Fine with me. So, UK, come here. I'm gonna track the ground forces first. The infantry, I should say. Uh, that is Scapa Flow. This is one province, right? So, if we are here, we get this board. And then there's a border here. So, I wanted to go, like, there. It's not gonna work out. So why don't we invade here and get that port? Rosseth. Rosseth? Edinburgh, Glasgow. I can do those. <laughs> Alright. So, let's plan that. Are we going to do a naval invasion? Yes, please. Oh, we're going to start... I think we start here. That's as far away from enemy air cover as possible. And we're going to go... There, 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 and we might even try going here directly. Why not? So we have 24 troops. We divide these on four regions. That's six per. That should be fine. Lock that in. Prepare. Tell me when you're ready. And again, once we have the port, we just ferry over the rest, and then we waltz over the UK. No issue there. You have a lot of air cover here. Well, it looks like it. We've already seen it's not much. Let's see how these figures change once we actually start going there. So, fighters. I think that's the closest base. Pretty much. We have 200. That's not much. 1600. We can start from here. It's 400. Yeah, we're missing air cover. Big time. Anyway, what I want you to do... We need some support to do the landings. So why don't I give you a wing of 200, just like that? It doesn't really take, make much of a difference. You can have a good ace, ground bombing. Yeah, agility plus 15, ground bombing plus 8 is better than that one. You take this guy. And you are assigned over here, which you can't. Perfect. That's bad. So we need to take an airfield first. Over here. We don't know where they are, because we can't see them. But there definitely is one somewhere up here. Alright. So we're just gonna wait until that invasion is ready to go. What are you guys doing once you're done with that? Do we want the Philippines? No. We do want to get down here. These guys are still invading all of this. Well, it's just this part left. The rest you can't reach. And we do not have much of a navy down here to support any invasions. Now have a look at our navy. The America's Invasion Navy, which is currently patrolling here. That's good. So we need that. That's perfect. You're doing convoy raiding. You should do... Yeah, do convoy escort. That's okay. Then, we have the Asia Force, which is supposedly somewhere over here. Which one is that? We're in Bombay, so that's down here. Alright. 
patrol. Yeah, do that. You know what? Your U-boats do convoy raiding. That's good. Anything that goes through here is basically just shot. Perfect. Asia Force 2. That should be the one up here. Yeah, this is the one doing the actual battles around here. They lost a, a crap ton of submarines. And they are merging with Germanreich Flotilla 6, which you can now see here and you can actually click on it. And look at that. It's 21 more U-boats. So perfect. All of you are actually going to UK Invasion Force. All right. Yeah, all of them. This is going to be a big force of mainly submarines gonna patrol all of this. So yeah, we're gonna start from here. So we need this area and we need this area and we want to make sure that nothing happens here in the meantime. And we're also gonna ferry troops from here. So, or maybe even here, whatever they decide where they want to go. These are the ports they can use, including that one. That's all covered. Don't need to cover that really, I think. There are ships here. Um, Well, the Russians are here as well. So that should be fine. Let's go. Really? <laughs> Good morning, America! Um, that brings me to the only thing we didn't check. Yes! Did they update a lot of stuff here? I don't recall this being a thing. I like this too, this is perfect. Um, we're not importing anything. We have a surplus of everything. Like a thousand. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, we have everything we need. Thank you. Skip the war. No problem. So we're mainly going to focus up here now. And yeah, we're going to do that still. It's just it's not that much of an importance to us. We get these territories anyway. Do want Venezuela though. Uh, you guys coming? You know what? Get that going. Are you all attached here? Yeah, 24 divisions. It's fine. Is there any problem with this? 24 divisions. Fine. What do you want? 121 divisions. Hmm. Thank you. You can use those yourselves. That might be of more use. Who can I invite to faction? Synarchist Mexico. That gets us into a war with Mexico. The Americans can do that. Then again, that gives them more war score, because they actually do some conquering. Yeah, I, I do invite you. Sure. Why not? Don't care. Uh, nope, thank you. So, are you part of this war now? If I call you in the war, that should merge the other war, right? Thank you very much. Uh, it's that destroyer. Zerstörer 1944. Let's go that one. And once we have that, we're definitely going to upgrade our factories, our dockyards to just produce that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to skip the number three there. Doesn't really matter. So, get going. How much time do you... So it says we need uh, naval supremacy, but it doesn't give us a sea zone where we need it. So I guess we do have that. We will actually just going to see that when the preparation is done. 84 days. I can live with that. Let's speed up to 5, because it's really nothing happening here. Except for a war over here. Also, what I didn't think about is... Um, they can take taxes from us now. That is bad. Maybe we should have taken those forces from America and just deployed them down here. Hmm. Split in half. New army. You go... Well, it's technically home front. And you are going to... No. Garrison taxes. Oh, wow. Well, I could just give you a front line here, I guess. That's a thing. Yep, do that. That's fine. Just go there. 
Do we still have commanders left? Well, we should. That doesn't help us any. Anybody? It's all tank people. Come on, Germany, what do you expect? Home of the Panzers. And also, I'm just, you know, going to give you a front line. Like, that didn't work. It's my right mouse button, as usual. Down there, and execute immediately. Go aggressive. Don't care. There's enough support coming in. So now it has merged, finally. Well, finally, they are going to come at us. It's not really finally, I'd say. You sent me some forces? You know what? I accept that. Oh, proof rocket engines, perfect. Can I... I could. Do want to do this, though. We don't get any more bonus on this, so we might just as well get started. This is all done, that's perfect. Yep, do this. Get that away. So, where are our Mexican troops? There they are. That's perfect. You are gonna join this guy. Which means you're gonna join this offensive line. So, we have somebody to hold this line already. That's good. I'm gonna shrink this down. This is Mexico. I don't care. They can do that themselves. Well, they are kind of losing. Uh, we're just going to hold this, and once the other troops arrive, we will going to extend this, and then we're just going to march through this. Sounds good, right? I'm not really confident in executing that plan. I don't care. It's not my issue. What's fighting here? Oh, Mexico. Okay. That's fine. Go. Go, 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 go. This is still going on. They're actually pushing back. That's interesting. Jet engines done. Here comes the real fighters. How's our UK invasion going? It's you guys, right? Sixty more days. It's two months. We are in April. So let's check back at the end of May, beginning of June. Shouldn't take long. No thanks. You need them yourself. So, how's this going here? This is America again. <laughs> yeah, that done. That's perfect. So, pretty much everything over here is done. Go back there. Now, let's restructure some production. You? Ah, there's a lot of stuff in here. What do we have in terms of... that's Navy, right? Oh yeah, once we get that jet fighter, the Messerschmitt 262 Schwalbe, or Swallow, um, we're going to have some fun there. We need oil, because we don't have full control of the state. That's bad. Alright, we can get that from somewhere, I hope. Uh, what did we need to change? It's you, right? Close air support. Not gonna spend any on that. You're the best close air support currently available, so that's completely fine. Don't have enough factories for this. That's also completely fine. We are missing pretty much two whole production lines, so are we gonna take away something? We have a crap ton of fighters, if I may say so, so you can go. Uh, you're not up to full, you can go. Does anything arrive down here? Nope. Well, it's because we have all of this stuff in here as well. It should now... Yeah, the free factory should now arrive down there. We just take away two more. Why not? Right. That one. We can get rid of one naval bomber. Yeah, it should be fine. Don't want to take out too many fighters. I mean, we need them for the UK. That's good. I have three military factories free. And we're just gonna put them somewhere. You can never have enough support equipment. Wait. If we get any more factories, just put them in there and produce that stuff. I don't care. So, oil. Um, yeah, you know, Mexico. 
Give me oil, man. <laughs> don't really have that many convoys. That's not enough. That's 600 something. I don't need that many. We don't get that much. Alright. And yeah, now we have a surplus. Seriously? Game? That's more like it. Still got a surplus. Weird. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. So we need to take this back. Everybody go down there and take that back so we get full support of our oil, which is all of this. Why is this now Mexico when I asked for control of state? What is going on here? I don't get that. Maybe because they're defending? I don't know. Alright, move. Move fast. I want to do stuff. That's actually already the end of the ep episode here. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to do this next time. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. And see you soon.